Kia ora guys, gals and legionnaires, Rykon here and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Leif's Tale. I almost said dusk like I did in the previous episode. The previous episode for us was uh, an interesting one to say the least. We had a fire, we accidentally started a fire in our shelter which is still standing. Thankfully however we lost a large amount of things in the fire itself. We lost flour, we lost meat. We lost a lot of things along the way, which is not so fun. Now, those sealed stomachs, they would have burnt up in there as well. So we are going to need something else to store water in. We have a lot of clay available to us, and I think building some clay pots is probably going to be a good move for us to make. So that's what we're going to be attempting to do, just starting things off to try and get ourselves back on our feet after, well, a pretty crappy outcome. I'm not happy with it at all. It's late at the moment, we don't want to push on for too long, but I want to try and see exactly what we're going to need and you know to actually get these pots made. So we're going to jump in and have a look and see what we are going to want to get it done. We've got a decent amount of clay with us and sure enough we can make uh, a few things here. Clay pot, how much are you going to be able to hold? Uh, not as much as we would want. See, what we probably want, what we're probably wanting here, uh, the the hydrea could be fantastic. Uh, for that, we are going to need uh, salt water. Okay, salt water. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we do need some leather patches to be able to put that together, but I feel like that's worth it for something that can store 15 liters. We can actually seal it as well, which is kind of good. So I think having that. And perhaps even like the jug, which is, that's a litre. Uh, actually, la large clay pot, that's quite good as well. Same kind of scenario where we need to have leather patches. I think that that's being used to be part of like a handle or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think going for the large clay pot and or the clay hydrea could be what we'd want to do. Um, they don't take too long to actually make. It's just going to be uh, getting that salt water and, yeah, actually being able to hold on to that. Because right now we have, luckily we, we actually have some some meat on us. We actually have meat soup at the moment as well, which is good. Uh, we do have two more stomachs, and I'm wondering whether or not we'll be able to make a seal. Oh, we've actually got a sealed stomach with us. Okay, so that's great news. So we can do this now. Uh, and that will help us out more in the long run. So with everything that we have on at the moment, I'm okay for us to actually go out. We are going to attempt to make our way over towards the swamp. Reason being, we are going to want to try and find some salt water. Uh, let's have some of our meat soup first though, just in that one there. Uh, there we go, nice, fantastic. Salt water, we're gonna pour that into that sealed stomach. Great, wander on back and see how we do. Now this is the first time I have done this in this new setup, so there might be a few teething issues. I'm hoping that everything comes out okay technically with this, that it sounds good, that it looks good, but uh, a lot of that will be finding out afterwards. So hopefully we haven't lost any time and me having to go over things twice, but for the most part, I'm really happy with how the setup is at the moment. It should help me actually make things a lot faster as well, just by not having to move so many things around. Like this green screen, which you can't actually see behind me at the moment, that's a fixed thing now so I don't have to worry about putting it up whenever I'm going to record these which is uh, well it, it usually takes up a fair bit of time so we have six salt water I can't actually remember how much we needed we probably need more than that though so yeah that was a construction menu we don't want that we want this instead and it looks like we can build no we can't build anymore so we need 15 and at the moment how much did we have we had six so we are going to need more than what we have available to us right now. So we are gonna to have to make a little bit more and I think that's okay. Let's have a look and see if anything did survive though. We have a clay pot and the clay pot can store two liters. We actually have some gallon jugs there as well. Excellent. I didn't realize the gallon jugs actually made it. So that's, that's good news. We'll take the gallon jugs. We're gonna go and fill those up as well. And I wanna have a look over here and see if there's anything else that we can use. No, not really. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm actually really happy that so much of our crafting supplies actually survived the uh, fire. We almost walked into our own snare trap. 
Ah, there we go. Gallon jug and pour into gallon jug. Okay, we should be looking pretty good now. We're getting thirsty again. This is thirsty work, all this hauling. Um, yeah, once it gets to kind of midnight, we will be going to sleep. So let's go ahead. Um, we should have enough to be able to do this now. If we go to clay, sure enough, we can do everything but the canister. Uh, and, and that's fine. So this is, we actually use this to make impact grenades. So we can make the hydrea or we can make the large clay pot. Okay, it's our waterproof hide lid. So that's what the hides are for. So we can make the large clay pot. It can store 37 liters of something, which is great. I wonder whether or not that will be better for us to do kind of, um, I don't know if we store like fruit wine or something in there once we actually get round to that. Uh, but I think for now we'll just go for the hydrea because that's what we're gonna use for water. Um, yeah. Cool, we'll go for the Hydrea for now. So it's gonna take 45 minutes. Difficulty is two, so we should be able to smash this out without too much trouble. And sure enough, we have done just that. So with that being the case, we should be able to store a fair amount of clean water in there. Um, exactly how much, I can't remember off the top of my head. Was it 15 liters? I think it was. Yes. So how many units of water is that gonna be? 15, I think. So if we go to clean water and, and then make 15 things of clean water, that might be be what we're after uh, we are going to go to clean water though we are going to see if we can quickly make some of that uh, 15 is going to give us how much portions 15 yes okay that makes sense is that going to be is each one oh hang on no no okay so that's the total oh we can go for a lot more so that's only five liters of water there uh, by us doing 20 so we'll go ahead and do 20 it's going to use 60 charges right now uh, but we have the fire so it's going to use the fire first which is good we're going to go pour those into the clay hydrea and we're essentially going to do the same thing again pouring it into the clay hydrea so we're going to have a fair bit of water there okay we're tired now so i think it's probably going to be good for us to do this however we've still got some fires going so i'm tempted to deal with the meat before too long and we've got salt water as well so we should be able to do some preserving let's not drink the salt water though let's go ahead and drink from the clay hydrea fantastic okay that helped us out a bit there we should be feeling pretty good about life got comfy oh well it's good to know that it's actually a nice spot that we're in at the moment so with that being the case we are going to now want to see what we can do food wise with our meat so we can smoke it it's going to take a bit of time for us to be able to do it an hour in fact or we can attempt to dehydrate it, it doesn't take as long it uses the smoker and i don't know what that was that just popped up on the screen i think we're okay yeah we should be all right <laughs> Okay, dehydrated meat, we're going to go for six units of dehydrated meat. It's going to take an hour for us to be able to do that. We probably don't need to do all of those because we're going to be able to make some into, um, um, into soup. But for the time being, I think it's probably going to be better for us to just spend some time. Dehydrate it like that, that's good. We've still got some offal left over. We do have those stomachs still, however. We aren't going to be able to make wasteland sausage. I got excited last time. What were we missing in the end? It was raw offal. We just needed more offal, and unfortunately we don't have it. So what I'm probably going to do is just store the offal on the side for now. If we find more offal, cool. If it rots, oh well. That's, that's my attitude on it right now. The stomachs are actually going to drop off as well. All of those I'm not super concerned about at this stage. Uh, everything else that we have on us, these gallon jugs of salt water, we're just going to go ahead and store those on the side for now. Um, or, or we could store them here and I could just kind of hope for the best, hope that we don't do something stupid. Um, the salt water that we have at the moment though, actually, we're going to unload that and we're going to pour that just actually pour it into a container pour it into that gallon jug there and we want to take a little bit of water from the hydrea and pour that into our sealed stomach here just so that we have it available to us while we're walking about okay cool i'm happy with everything at the moment so we are going to be calling it a night um how are you doing rockforge you're doing okay at the moment um I'm trying to remember where we were at with our forging process. I know that we were going through and trying to make as many lumps of steel as possible. I'm trying to remember what stage we were at there because this, like I said, this is the first time that I've been back. So I want to know exactly how far along we are. Now, I know we didn't finish the process of actually making an anvil. We were on our way to making it. So I'm intrigued to see how far along we actually got with that. So all of those parts should be up here. We've got 143 chunks of steel. And for us to make an anvil, I feel like we needed 160. Yeah, 160. So we're going to need 
quite a few more chunks of steel and for us to be able to do that we need our scrap metal which we can make into ah no okay right we can make a chunk of steel we just need more scrap metal okay so the scrap metal we can get from the pipes that are there we can break them down into scrap um, i'm hoping we have everything we need to be able to disassemble it. it this just needs hammering so hopefully it's the same thing for the pipes that's something that we're probably going to do in the morning we're probably going to do that then so let's just go remove this plank for now we are going to be calling it a night going to sleep hoping for the best we managed to get to sleep and that's okay a rough uh day for our poor friend um, and how long are we going to sleep? Good. I'm actually glad that we still have the sun to kind of wake us up. If we did seal ourselves in here, we wouldn't be as, uh, we wouldn't find that as easy. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's get full and let's have some of that sweet, sweet water. Okay, so everything has been put out for the time being. Actually, the, uh, that's still got some in there. 160. Nice. Okay, so we need to get rid of a few things here if we're going to be going and picking stuff up. So the chunk of fat, etc., we're going to go and drop those down there for the time being. That sealed stomach can be dropped off as well. The chunk of chitin, we'll go and drop that up here. And I don't think we need to have all of these on us at the moment. I'm tempted maybe to just bring the knife spear and our sling, so leaving our short bow behind. And saying that though, we can just wear our short bow sure it makes us not as capable but we can just drop it if trouble does come our way and that means that we should still be able to carry a little bit more volume wise yeah I'm, I'm okay with everything else that we've got we probably don't need to have the throwing sticks so we'll drop those off for the time being yeah I'm happy with that we've got a swag bag with us we actually are carrying the swag bag at the moment doesn't seem to be impeding us much at all so we are going to carry a one carry along our way that was weird uh, and I'm gonna see if we can grab as much of those as possible and I'm just gonna try and remember it is pretty much straight to the right to get to the heli crash so let's start to make our way through the water wading our way over uh, and you know what we can probably get away with zooming out here so let's go ahead zoom out and we'll just start moving with a bit more speed there we go make our way over Right, so we have a large amount of pipes there still. We're going to want to attach those to our auto pickup manager. I don't think we've got pipe on there at the moment. Uh, we might actually, yes, we do. So there we go, pipe. And yes, so as long as we're walking across here, we will be picking up pipes as we go about. So we just want to walk over pretty much everything here and grab as many as we can. Okay, there are some chunks of steel that were still there, so we'll definitely be grabbing them at the same time. Happy to see um, okay, there is that one there and I don't think we're going to be able to get to it. We don't have any way to excavate it right now, so we'll just have to leave it as it is. Heavy sticks, splintered woods. Okay, it's just wood, making sure that we're not missing out. And we might as well zoom out again, just because there's a chance that we could be missing things in the trees, like you down here. There is some wire down there as well. I'm tempted just to just go and grab it, because it's like, why the hell not? Grab the wire, thank you very much. And there's a chunk of steel in there as well. Black, oh, okay, yeah. Sure, we'll grab some tan bark while we're here. Um, we are gonna get in a bit of trouble in terms of our weight in a moment, but I think we should be able to bring back a little bit more with us. Hey, look at that sneaky, bloody chunks of steel still kicking about just in these bushes. So there's a chance there could be more in these bushes as well. So we'll kind of try and walk past them if we can, see if there's anything hiding. And we'll take both of those, thank you. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I feel like we've taken everything we possibly can from the crash site now. There is just wood here now. Uh, if we ever do need splintered wood in a hurry and we don't have access it to it ourselves, we can, we can just do that. So, yeah. Make our way through the swamp, back to home, and we're going to get to work. Alright, we're soaking wet at the moment. I think we're not super happy about that, but that's okay. What can you do? So, we want to disassemble these pipes. What are we going to need to be able to do it? Um, let's see. We get seven scrap metal. It only takes five minutes, and we don't need anything extra. So, ah, oh, shoot. Metal sword. Damn it. Ah, I thought that might be the case. Well, unfortunately... I don't think we're going to be able to do anything with those pipes. Um, that is a shame. Uh, hey, we did get some more chunks of steel, so that's something. And I just heard my phone 
vibrating, so I'm going to be sure to turn that off. It was actually one of you tweeting at me, so thanks for the tweet. If you don't know what my Twitter is, it's in the description. That wasn't planned. Anyway, we have five more chunks of steel. We are going to need a lot more than that, though, to be able to get the job done. We'll drop them off for the time being, though, along with the scrap metal. We definitely don't have enough to start pulling things together. Um, you know what? Ten bark, we can drop you off as well. But if we jump back into here, if we start having a look at those chunks, 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 and chunk, and chunk, chunk of steel five scrap metal is required and we are still a fair bit off our goal at the moment i believe let's see is it all going to show us in one place here spare parts yeah we're, i mean we're close and that's a frustrating thing is that we're actually close to this we just need a little bit more scrap metal now there is another chopper crash right from memory it is all the way over here or are they other bodies no, there is another heli crash. Okay, so that could give us the metal that we need. It is going to be a little bit of a journey for us to get there. And I'm actually okay with everything that we have on us right now. What we do need to bring with us, though, is food. Right now, we don't have any at all, so we want to make sure that we actually do that. We have some arrows in our quiver. We have our bow on us as well. Should anything big come for us, we'll be able to whip that out. Yeah. Uh, but for now, we're going to go to food, and we're going to see what we are going to be able to make. Um, we can actually make some cooked offal, so you know what? We might as well cook it while it's there. I don't think we're going to get any more offal, so the sausages are kind of out of the picture. Uh, probably good for us to do it before these rot. It's so unenjoyable, though. But at the end of the day, right now, we don't need Leif to be in a good mood, so we'll do it. We'll have some hot offal. Um... We don't want to eat it right now, though. Will be good for us to have a few other things for us to eat, though. Quite possibly. Um, we're actually really limited right now. We can't make much at all. Um, yeah, that sucks. Uh, what are we missing in terms of broth? I think it's probably... Veggies? Yeah, it's, it's, it's veggies that we need. Dehydrated vegetables. Powdered egg. Yeah, there's a, there's a few variations of things that we need. We've got salt water, that's fine. Uh, but we do need to have something that's going to be the base of it. And it looks like it needs to be either plant-based or um, an egg of some variety. So, oh well, the, we can't do that for now, that's fine. Um, I don't want to just leave here without making any charcoal, so we'll go ahead and see if we can make some more of that. Uh, we'll go and grab the charcoal for the time being. Uh, we can't grab it course because our hands are full so we'll go ahead and take off the swag bag so that we can actually grab these we'll just wield it for a second or actually you know what i think we should be able to no you can't bugger okay we'll do it like that just dispose it store that in our inventory and we'll just drop the charcoal on the floor for now um we don't have much in the way of splintered wood with us right now so i don't think there's any point in us putting it on i did want to leave it on but I think it's fine. We've got we've got enough charcoal for the time being. Uh, we do have some wood inside here. We still got a lot of two by fours. I could maybe take a few of those. You know what? Let's see if we can just take ten. No, we can't. Okay, so that's that's a no for now. We'll go ahead and remove that cover. Yeah, and we'll go have an expedition. Uh, we've got one charcoal on us. That's fine. Uh, we are going to walk with our knife spear out though, just in case anything does immediately run for us. We'll be a little bit more prepared. And I think we are ready to go on this expedition. We're going to try and keep our eyes peeled while we're out here, though, to see if there's anything. Like the turkey, for example. Turkeys, you know, I could go for a turkey, but if we find something larger, we'll go for that. I don't think we're going to worry about the small game for now. Also, because we cooked the offal, the chances of us actually being able to make our wasteland sausage, well, that's, well, our hopes have been dashed there, unfortunately. It's not going to happen, at least not this time. We'll see what will happen in the future, though. I think for now we should be able to get away with walking a little bit faster, so I am going to be going out from this kind of range. And we want to be a little cautious here, though, because we did run into a pack of dogs. Uh, not at this forest. I think it was the next forest along, so we'll keep our eyes out for that. If we do run into trouble, it should alert us as we're moving across the field. This is just a faster way for us to be able to do it. Um, Otherwise, this could take a, 
a decent portion of the episode. And if you actually missed my update video, the one that I had recently was saying that we are just going to be having one of Lathe and one of Dusk every week, but the, uh, the, the length of the videos is going to go up from 45 minutes to an hour. So you're still getting a pretty decent amount of Cataclysm. It's just like one episode left, unfortunately. One episode less, rather. So we have a zombie dog ahead of us. Uh, and you know what? Zombie dogs are actually kind of frightening at this stage. I mean, they can always be frightening, but especially right now, because we can't get away from them. That's, that's the kind of... Uh, where a lot of survivors die early on is to these zombie dogs because once they get overwhelmed and try and run away, by that time it's too late and they might already be bleeding. So we want to try and see if we can sneak up on this thing, or well, sneak as much as we can, uh, and try and get a few shots off with our bow. So for now we're going to store that in our inventory, take our bow out, and good god that wasp came from freaking nowhere. So the question is now, okay, the zombie dog's nearly dead. The giant wasp is hostile, but it hasn't actually seen us yet. So what we need to do is start running in the other direction and let these two duke it out because they are going to duke it out. Okay, and uh, <laughs> all right, uh, the giant wasp hit the dog, and the, it's just it's just straight up dead. Um, it didn't get through the armor of the giant wasp, so we now have a giant wasp to deal with. Um, so we are going to try and see if we can sneak up on it here. Uh, we'll stop running, in fact. And just wait until our stamina comes back and then we'll see if we can get up a little bit closer to it uh okay it's it's gone above uh that really sucks um i hate that they can do that and we can't see them so okay he's back down before he decides to fly up again we want to try and get a little bit closer to him i think he no he hasn't seen us yet we can take the wooden arrow i don't think we can hit him yet not quite so we want to take a step closer go for the wooden arrow and we need to go one more step closer okay so are we going to be able to get this before it comes for us we'll see it doesn't it's not aware of us yet so we're going to try and take a precise shot um the chance to hit isn't amazing but it's better than nothing okay so we land a little short that's okay we are going to attempt this again all right we miss yet again okay so perhaps it will come closer we kind of want to try and see if it will we're going to stay at 100 percent just by waiting uh i think we might need to take a step closer though we're looking at a 24 percent chance to graze right now you know what let's go let's take a shot okay and we still haven't got its attention yet it's not aware of us uh i think we're going to need to take a step forward okay with that being the case let's start to wait again the chances to hit at 100 are a lot better this time and sure enough it steps away okay another miss i don't like this because we are slowly starting to run out of arrows come on i'm gonna wait again and then we're gonna have to take another step closer okay so that means that we need to essentially steady our shot again uh it's not coming for us yet still and our chance to hit is essentially the same here here we go here we go okay all right, it reflected off, that's okay. Take another shot, okay, that's all we, that's, that's all she wrote. We're gonna have to try and drop this to the ground and we're gonna have to try and wield our knife spear. Okay, all right, it hit us. We managed to block some of the damage with our spear. We are going to attempt to strike at it. Okay, that didn't go as well as I would want. We're poisoned, we're not feeling too great about life. Let's try and strike again. Okay, there we go. We managed to poke at the giant wasp for seven damage. We blocked a little bit of the damage with our spear and we dodged another attack. Again, we strike at it. Our armor is holding up a little bit better this time. We have armor on now, remember. Uh, unfortunately, not on our chest, but um, our other extremities, they're a little bit more protected than they were before. And so this fight's gonna be a little bit more uh, fear. However, we keep on constantly getting poisoned by this thing as it slowly starts to whittle us down. We stand our ground. As the pain starts to take over, we stab again and again as our hoodie is ripped and the giant wasp lashes at our torso with its stinger. Our cargo pants are cut as it starts attacking our legs. We are poisoned. Our torso is not doing so great right now. We strike at it again. The giant wasp is severely injured, but as are we. We strike at it and the thing dies. So we can win these fights, but it takes a lot out of us for us to be able to do it. Not only is our equipment becoming damaged, but we come very close to death each time as well. So it's not an ideal scenario by any means. <sighs> okay, all right, we're gonna go ahead and butcher this guy. 
because we can. Um, the poison is still affecting us right now. I'm not 100% sure how it actually affects us in the game. Not sure. We're going to take the zombie dog's tainted bone, but we're just going to leave the meat for now. We don't really have any use for that right now. We'll take our bows back, our bows, our arrows back, and put them into our quiver. Unfortunately, we lost one in that scenario. And you know what? I'm dumb. I came all the way out here and we don't have a shovel. I know that at least one or two of you would have realized that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back really quickly. Hopefully by that time, we will be a little bit better off uh, pain-wise. Because right now, it isn't super amazing. We did get a little bit more... Um, we didn't actually get any offal. Damn, I was hoping to get some. But we didn't really get much from that at all. Uh, I see that we actually did pick up the crack pipe because I had that um, selected for us to be able to pick up pipes. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and turn that off for now because we don't actually need the pipes as we know they're not going to be able to help us, so we'll turn that off. I'm going to put a quick cut in here. I'm going to run back to base, grab our shovel, so I'll see you all once we've returned. Okay, I have made it back and we have the stone shovel with us. We're a little thirsty, so let's have some water while we're out here. And, well, we're not feeling too good overall. The poison has stopped infect well, stopped affecting us, but our torso is still pretty bad off. And if we have a look at our gear right now, it is pretty well damaged. The hoodie is kind of just hanging on at this stage. Our cargo pants got damaged in that as well. Our leg warmers and our boxer shorts are almost gone, so... Yeah, not super great for us, but what we're going to do is we're going to go through here and essentially just start digging through all the material that we can find. Um, the first thing that I think we wanna, we're going to want to try and grab are the chunks of steel. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into this and let's have a look. We want to just have chunks of steel selected. We're not going to be selecting the other stuff for the time being. So as we wander through here, as we kind of go about our business, we're going to be picking up as we're going. Uh, so we're just going to go through, essentially, no, that's not what we want to do, there we go, and then just walk, so it's just E, and then walk, so it's pretty, pretty easy for us to do, and I just want to make sure that we do walk over each part as we're going through, going for you, going for you, and we are actually picking up the scrap metal at the same time, we kind of don't want to be doing that, so let's just drop the scrap metal off for the time being. Uh, it's something that we are going to want to come back for, sure, but we need the other stuff first. So let's just see if we can find scrap metal and turn that off just for the time being. There we go. So we're going to be grabbing just the chunks of steel and anything else that we can find. will probably be on top. Usually if there is an item in here, it's going to show up first. Um, just making sure that we actually did walk over. No, we didn't. So let's just go over those really quick. There we go. And we're going to start to work our way down this section as well. We've been very lucky to find two of these as close as we have so far. It's definitely a blessing. Without them, it would have been... Uh, well, we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to go into metalworking. So this is kind of allowing us to do that, which is awesome. However, I'm a little surprised we haven't found anything in these yet. Usually, um, with these kind of helicopter crashes... More often than not, you do find some equipment underneath them, and I, pretty much both times we haven't really found that much in the way of equipment. I'm not, like, I'm not surprised it does happen, but, oh, there we go, there is a black box. Um, we could take it to maybe dis disassemble it. I know we've already got one, it's not very large, so we'll go ahead and carry it for now. It's another thing for uh, Leif to be able to hold on to. A small little bit of civilization, although he wasn't, you know, super involved in civilization before the fall. But uh, yeah, I think anything like that, he's gonna, he's gonna bring along with him. Um, I'm not sure if we are still picking up. I think we are. We've got 41 chunks right now, which is good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, yeah. So we're just seeing them right now. We're not actually picking them up. So that means that we are at our level so we want to go ahead and grab the swag bag now so that we can grab some more so we're just going to move through really quick we're on 55 57 awesome i'm trying to remember or at least find out what point okay there we go so i think that's that's good oh there we go fantastic army jacket awesome and it's actually in good condition as well surprisingly enough we'll go ahead and bring that along with us definitely um yeah so i was just talking about us not having found anything and uh bam there you go We've actually got something from this. And it's in pretty good condition as well. We should be able to take the army jacket and um, and make use of that. We should be able to make it fit us first of all, which um, 
that's going to be necessary, otherwise it's just going to be way too encumbering. But it's going to keep us warm at the same time. You can see the warmth on it is at 30, so it's, it's not a bad garment. It's still got, um, it probably has better volume than the hoodie, because the hoodie's got like a little, obviously like a little pouch at the front. But um, there should be quite a few pockets on the army jacket, so yeah. And plus I think it kind of, it'll fit well into his um, aesthetic so far. No, we don't want to step into it, we just want to dig through it. So we're at 91 chunks, we've definitely got enough this time, so we're going to be building an anvil this episode, and we're going to be taking our first real step into metalworking. It's probably the most difficult part as well, is getting the necessary materials for this. If we were in the real world, if we were in, um, like say, Dusk's world, it would be a lot easier. I'm just going to push on for a little bit further here, just so that we can get this last lot done. I believe that's all of it. There might be like one or two pieces that we've missed out on the outside, but for the most part, I'm happy with everything that we've got so far. Um, yeah, nice. So let's go ahead, have the last of the offal. Didn't quite do us, but that's okay. We'll have something proper once we get back home. Okay, all right. And we do need to start moving on back home. A little dangerous um, doing what we've done now, waiting until the evening to move back because if we see something, it's already too close. So we're actually going to swap out to our knife spear. Just because um, we're not going to have any chance to use a ranged weapon at this time of night. So we'll just work our way over. I think we need to start going up now. I'm just trying to have a look at the mini-map at the moment. Okay, so it, it, yeah, at least it will stop us from diving into the water. So we just want to try and follow along the river as much as possible. I think if we go straight from here, we should be fine. A little dangerous, however. Um, safe mode is turned on, so if anything does jump out at us, we'll at least be able to kind of take it something of an action. We don't want to end up in any holes though, so I'm just kind of taking it a little slowly if I can. As best I can, that is. Okay. I think we're coming to the edge of the forest now, so we should start to be able to just go directly up from where we're at. Uh, nearly there. Okay, fantastic. So, yeah, we can actually see home base in the distance. Well, at least on our minimap. So if we go straight up from here, we should be back home. Yes. There we are. And it is good to be back. Um, let's see. It is uh, already kind of late. So I think we should save the work until the morning. However, we do need to have something to eat still. So let's have a look. We do have all of that meat with us. So we could just turn it into cooked meat for now. And I think that would be fine. So let's go ahead just turn those. We're just going to use the charcoal for now. We don't need to start a f we do need to start a fire to be able to see what we're doing. Uh, so we need to try and just track down some splintered wood. I don't know if we actually have any around here right now. Uh, do we, do we, do we? No, we don't. Okay, so I'm just going to have to go and put that plank down really quick. And we'll just grab one 2x4 for now. We're going to use that to start this fire. We don't want to be going to bed hungry, so go ahead, drop that. We want to, now I'm going to do this very carefully if I can. Um, and I'm also wanting to use the fire starter as well, so let's try and find it here. Fire drill, there we go. We're going to activate the fire drill on there. Okay. Good. I, I mean, I, I was nervous as well. It's our first fire since the, well, the mishap we had before. We can make some aspic. Um that is going to use, oh, it's going to use bone. I, that's actually okay. It's going to last us a decent while as well. It take, takes 40 minutes for us to be able to do it. Uh, hmm. I don't like the idea of spending too much time doing that. So I think what we're going to do for the time being is we're just going to make, um, we're not going to make cat food. No, we're just going to make, I think, two things of cooked meat just for now. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And we'll go ahead and eat those. The stomach has gone old, apparently. Nothing we can do about that. Let's just go drop that at the top, because it's going to rot away. We could make a bored stomach, but nah. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. So, we're going to sleep the night away. And we should see our wounds start to heal as well. <sighs> yep, I think they might actually be fully done by the time morning rolls around. Which is good, so... Yeah, I mean, the wasps are still dangerous to us. Definitely, definitely dangerous. Uh, come on, there we go. Well rested, that's good, and we didn't go too far into the day as well. Kind of perfect for us. Hey, there's a turkey pretty close. Uh, you know what? Let's grab our 
our sling and we'll see if we can wait 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 whoa we got quite a few turkeys close to us there's one just there and yeah they're on the they're on the move though they're gonna yeah they're gonna get away from here at least we'll keep them away from our field for now bloody turkeys all right Okay, so we need to get to work, and we have a fair bit of work to do. Um, we're going to start by getting ourselves nice and slaked, if possible. There we go, and let's have, or rather, make some of that aspic. I'm almost, I'm almost wondering whether it's worthwhile us making now, because it is going to um, be preserved food. However, we're hungry right now, and I think us just eating some cooked meat is probably going to be better for us. So the nutrition we're getting there versus the nutrition we're getting from the aspic that's still just one chunk of meat and we get two portions so i actually think this is going to be more efficient for us it does require us to have some bones but what the hell let's do it let's do it okay took some time oh crap of course we can't make any more can we I'm, I'm, I'm guessing at the least we just wasted that. Ah, oh, that sucks. Well, we do have some meat there that we can still rehydrate if we should need to, if it becomes super necessary. We are still hungry, so I think it kind of is necessary for us to do some of that. So, damn it. Yeah, we're going to have to for now. We're going to go and rehydrate this meat. We'll just rehydrate three of them for now. It doesn't take us too long to be able to do that. And we'll just go ahead and eat it as it is. Yum. Not so much, but... It gets the job done okay so with that being the case we should have everything we need now to make an anvil and sure enough we do the difficulty is three our skill level is five so we should have no issue doing this it is going to take us four hours to do those so we're going to be sitting down for a while working on just melting a huge amount of metal into um yeah an, an anvil i'm imagining it's not going to be perfectly done um, but hey, if we can get it to be something close to an anvil, that will work out for us. So we spend our day in the sun. Thankfully, actually in the sun, it stopped raining. Even though we are undercover while we're working here, um, it is going to be nicer for us. And sure enough, bam, we have a friggin' anvil. Now I'm pretty sure we can place the anvil. I think I'm going to want to place it just on the side here. So there we go, place anvil. And, well, we can actually make the wattle and daub, wattle and daub wall. Uh, but no, we're going to place the anvil. We're going to place it just down there for now. That is an anvil. And that should be close enough for us to be able to use still. So we're hungry. We're thirsty. What's new? That sucks. We're just going to drink straight from that for now. There we go. Uh, and let's have some of that rehydrated meat. Bam. Done. Dealt with for now. So we have ourselves an anvil. That's the first stage. Uh, next, I think for us is going to be making a chisel. So what we can do is see what we need to be able to make a chisel. Okay, so no. So we need metal tongs. So next up, we're going to be looking at making some tongs. We are also going to need a proper hang, ha a proper hammer as well. Um, okay, so for this, we just need to have some more charges. So we're going to go and grab all of that goodness from over there taking the swag bag uh drop it on the ground why uh, what's in our inventory right now uh right other stuff that we don't necessarily need like the back black box and we're actually just going to drop the army jacket down there for now that's something that i do want to actually use but something that we don't need to worry about right this second um right charcoal we're going to grab from the top the chunks of steel we're going to drop over there as well so yes we're going to take off the swag bag so that we can actually do this and we are going to grab the charcoal uh all 400 let's just grab 250 for now if we can dispose of the sling put it there go over here and we are going to add 251 to there so now we should be able to make ourselves some tongs the next stage it's going to take 30 minutes for us to be able to do this and these are just basic metal tongs that we're going to be able to use to pick things up and move about that are really really hot so important um and again no chance of us really failing this and we can use the pipes instead so what the hell let's use the pipes for now bam okay it might actually be worth us doing using the the chunks because the pipes are actually something that's already made so we might be able to use this in other recipes so i might not do that from now on have some rehydrated meat we're definitely going to need to go out on a hunt to get more food uh, but for now we're going to try and focus on this if we go to chisel now um we need a proper hammer so let's go ahead and search for hammer um okay makeshift hammer that's going to be two for us to be able to build this one 
we just need to have more charges in our forge. So yeah, we're gonna need a lot more charcoal. So I think what we're gonna do right now is um, I'm gonna start transferring some of these over. So uh, how much splintered, oh, we actually do have some splintered wood around here. Nice, okay, I didn't realize that. So the splintered wood we want to go ahead and move for now. Um, what do we have down here? Just pine cones? Yeah. 42 logs, so we've still got quite a bit of uh, material here. Let's go and shift some of these 2x4s across as well. Um, take the filter off just so we can kind of see what's there. We're going to go and move 20 of those over for now. Okay, I feel like that's an okay number of things. Uh, let's just go to the auto pickup manager, and I want to just essentially turn off everything for now. Apart from arrows, so we'll just go and quickly turn these off. Throwing as well, uh, yeah, we'll turn off. Otherwise, we're going to keep on picking up those throwing sticks. So what we're going to do is move on to that square, and then move everything from that square up here. So just move, move. Okay, and from this position, uh, I wonder if we are able to just shift it in like this. I think we are. Not charcoal, splintered wood. Boom, boom. There we go. And fill with wood and bone. Uh, pretty sure we did actually just put that in there. Or did that not go there? Did that go to some other location? Uh, it went down there for some reason. Okay, so I messed that up. We're going to go to the charcoal kiln. Okay, good. And we're going to move across. Let's see. Pointy stick, no. Am I... How am I not seeing these? Splintered wood? Yep, oh, and 2 by 4s are down the bottom. They're in spare parts now. I'm used to them being under weapons, so it's, it's moved recently. Which, actually, that's good. I'm glad they did. Fire the kiln? Yes, fire the kiln. Okay, good, so that's going to be some more charcoal coming. Uh, birch bark we don't need to grab. I don't know why we did grab that, so let's go drop that on the ground. Um, but charcoal, yeah, we'll, we'll take all of it for now if we can. Wield the charcoal and walk on over and drop it in there. I don't know how much we actually have in there right now, but, um, oh, we can't place items. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, it contains 111, so it's not quite enough yet. So we actually do need a lot more charcoal than we have available to us. Okay, so we, we've managed to get some metal working today. We're going to have to leave that alone for a little while here. But what we're going to do for the rest of our time on this earth is go hunting. Hopefully getting something slightly bigger this time. So we're going to drop that, the stone shovel, the sealed stomach, we're going to fill up with water. We're going to drop that off as well. Throwing sticks, uh, throwing sticks we're going to leave behind. We've got the sling, we've got the bow. We got our knife spear. Cool. I'm feeling good about that. That should be everything that we need. But we need to get some water first. So let's go and unload some of that water into our sealed stomach. Okay. Uh, I would love for us to be able to have some food while we're out here. But unfortunately, we we don't have any more. This is why we're going out hunting. Um, I'm not just going to go out hunting. I'm also going to go looking in the bushes around here to see what else we're able to find. And uh, essentially, the hunt will be a bonus. If we're able to find anything else out here, that'll be good. Because right now, we can make a lot of broth with wild vegetables. We already have enough planted as well. I, at least, I mean, I think we have enough for now. So we're going to see what we're able to get with those in the future. Uh, but pretty much everything else that we find right now, we're going to want to try and convert into food because we're going to be hungry. We're going to be getting real, real hungry. So we got one up there, just seeing a perch or a bass off in the distance. Okay, no, we don't want to touch our straw hat. I do want to do something about the um, army jacket. I haven't forgotten about it. It's something that we will work on. But uh, right now, top priority for us is hunting and gathering which is uh, essentially what we're doing right now. I could use, hmm, we don't have the throwing sticks right now. I was gonna say we could use the throwing sticks on the uh, on the bass, etc. but uh, it's not gonna be as efficient as I would like. Um, so what we're gonna do at the moment is kind of just walk along the edge of the forest because this way we're gonna be able to gather from the forest, but we're also gonna be able to see if there are any animals kicking about as we're uh, moving about. And we've got some eggs and some wild vegetables from that, so good news for us. Okay, bird's eggs, go ahead and grab them. 
See if we can find any more wild veggies. No, not today. Uh, we did get some straw and we won't say no to that. It's definitely still a useful resource. It's same thing if we find withered plants, we'll go ahead and take those as well. All of them can be useful to us. Okay, thank you. Uh, a plastic bottle. You know what? That is helpful as well. Pinecone, sure. Why not? We'll take all the things. Alright, we can't get anything from the strawberry bushes or the blueberries yet. Not yet time. But we've got some canola seeds. I'm happy to see those. We'll definitely try and get those planted. What do we have up? We've just got a jackrabbit and a lemming. Not going to be able to get much from those. And, um... I mean, we'll try. We'll use our pebbles to see if we're able to get anything at all. We're getting a lot of uh, a lot of herbs and herbs from this. Well, herb, herbs and herbs. S same thing, essentially. <laughs> Just two different pronunciations. Okay. Was that a... Oh, plant fibers. I thought it was a long string. Still, plant fibers. I won't say no. Um, let's stand here for now and grab whatever we can. Uh, newspaper wrapper... Or rather, paper wrapper, paper wrapper, we'll just go ahead and disassemble them just into paper. Take those. Small string, hell yes. Oh, okay. Awesome find. Glass jar and two wild vegetables. So, it's the gathering side of things so far has actually been quite successful for us, so... Not to be scoffed at. And everything else is uh, running away from us right now. Hickory root beans and we randomly found a lump of steel I'll take it uh, we've got a lemming chilling out there they're all gonna be running away from us for the most part and uh, without the water at our back they're gonna be able to get away pretty much 90% of the time well probably closer to 99% of the time unless we decide to chase them down for hours on end and uh, they're really they're not worth it at this stage nothing else we're not going to try and take every single one. Just these ones on the outside should be more than enough for us for now. And I think we're actually coming up to another part of the... Okay, bird's eggs and one plastic bag. We'll take we'll take all of those. All very useful. Yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, this, is, this has been a lot better than I thought it was going to be, actually. Um, looking forward to being able to make a decent amount of broth. Just because that helps things go a lot further. And uh, who knows, we might actually be able to seal the broth in one of those larger containers if we go ahead and make ourselves some more of them. Not opposed to it. Although I wonder if the sealing is another action, if you need to actually use it to seal it. Possibly. We'll find that out together. Okay, what do we have? Another lemming. Okay, fine. And we got the mold up there. Okay. We could try and throw some rocks at that. I'm actually just going to try and chase down the lemon here a little bit. Actually, chase it. There we go. Let's see. We're going to go fire, and we're going to try and take a precise shot. Okay, we freaking annihilated the lemming. Well done. Okay, we did get... Uh... Oh, wow. Right, we're actually over-encumbered now. So, let's see. Uh... All right, stop running, first of all. Um, anything that we want to get rid of that we have on us right now? Not really. I want to take the meat back with us, so we're going to go ahead and wear our swag bag for now. That shouldn't impair us too much. What are you? You're a Grappen Corp, so yeah, we don't want to cut you up because you're too human-like for our liking. Uh, we're going to try and walk pretty much straight down from here. Uh, we're, not gonna, we're not going to murder the cat. We're not quite at that stage yet. Uh, but we'll see if we might be able to catch a turkey or something like that down here. They're all pretty quick for the most part. The lemmings we might be able to get. We seem to be able to kind of semi-chase them down. So we'll get a little bit closer if we can with the sling. And then fire away. And that was a big old miss. So I think we just got lucky before. Okay. Alright. Yeah, the, the, the chance to hit is, is so slim. Even with our precise shots. Okay. We've got a grazing hit. It's not terrible. Much more better if we can get, like, really close right next to them. Then it kind of makes it almost not worth us taking or using the sling at this stage. I think we will get better at it. So what we're going to do is we are going to try and essentially just run up to these lemmings and then try and whack them with the sling. Uh, because it means that we will stand a chance of getting better over time. Like that. Because we don't need to do too much damage to them to be able to take them down, so... 
take you off all as well and let's just take a breather we'll have some lovely lovely clean water for now okay and while we're on our way back we might oh, actually we haven't found any rhubarb or anything yet i was like we could just eat that but no we can't uh let's see if we can corner this turkey oh and let's stop running oh uh, yeah 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 body gives out because we actually ran out of stamina there all right turkey you're down by the water right now we might be able to get away with this oh no you're a rabbit the turkey's long gone damn all right we'll ignore it for now i feel like we've done pretty well in terms of this hunt could have been a lot worse so we're just going to walk on back home uh, essentially going along the safe route or the safer route we didn't even go that far so we are back home the canola seeds i definitely want to get planted so that's something that we're going to look at doing but i think for now we want to try and uh get some of that meat on or at least at the very least get a uh, a broth going you can see we can make a hell of a lot more than we could before we can actually make canned veggies and canned offal um let's see we just want to make some straight up broth for now as much broth as humanly possible um right we can make a whole heap what becomes the limit to that uh bird's eggs okay i'm 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 okay with that uh you can use wild vegetables as well so what we should be able to do here is make a lot more than this it's just for the one recipe we can just use so let's just use um the wild vegetables for now so we can make 10 10 portions of broth which is actually a, a pretty decent amount and in saying that though we need to make sure that we can actually store it so perhaps it's going to be better for us to make something else clay first so that we are going to be able to do it could be a clay hydrea again it, i mean 15 liters of broth is pretty good um yeah waterproof hide lid meant to store water but can carry other liquids in a pinch uh, I think what I want to do is I want to make this and then transfer the water out from the other one. This is going to take an hour and 20 minutes and uh, yeah, we should be able to do this just fine. We're going to use withered plants instead of the small string just because they're a little bit more common for us. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll use just some water and it's going to take some time and bam, we've done it. So let's go ahead and take all of the water and pour it into the large clay pot. Fantastic. Next up, we want to go back into food and we want to make ourselves some broth. I'd like to make some dog food as well, so we should remember to try and do that with. Uh, mm. Let's go and just make um, four things. What do we start running out of? Chunks of meat. Okay, let's make four things of dog food. Why not? I think we're going to try and see if we can tame those dogs. Use some water. Ah, son of a bitch! I should have. I should have looked. That was really dumb of me. Okay, well, we would have learned something from that process. At least we know broth we can make without any trouble, so let's just go make ourselves some broth. Yeah, we start to run out. Uh, I know we've got a lot more bird's eggs there. So, what are we running out of there? Oh, salt water. Okay, well, look, let's deal with that first. Uh, where are they going to be, though, is the question. We want to go and grab... So let's just do an all-around look. And we are looking for... It's going to be gallon jug gallon jug salt water take you take you okay annoyed about the dog food nothing we can do about it now it is what it is okay so let's go ahead and pour that into a container gallon jug and pour into container gallon jug. so we've got a bit more salt now there was certainly salt in the wound but that's fine Let's make ourselves some broth. And uh, we will start by doing just the wild vegetables first. So that's going to be up until that point. Six. We'll go and batch. Uh, whoops, my bad. There we go. Six. Water. We're going to do the wild vegetables first. And yeah, that's going to see us through until the evening. Okay, pour that into. For the time being, we're going to pour it into the clay hydrea. Bam. Okay, so we don't, we're don't. we not going to be able to make... Oh, we can make meat soup, actually. We do still have some around. Um, we're not going to be able to make wood soup, though. From memory, we need a lot more to be able to do that. Uh, let's see. I Actually, in saying that, we just need to have more wild vegetables. Huh. Wouldn't you know? And wood soup is really good. Really, really good. Um, so it's kind of disappointing, because... Um, 
I guess we could have made the broth of bird's eggs. It is also using dehydrated meat as well. It's using a whole heap of everything. Uh, right now we don't have enough of stockpile to be able to do it, so I think just making some meat soup for now should also be fine. So, meat soup, we're going to go ahead and make three. Uh, can't see the craft. Well, ain't that a thing. I don't think this is going to go off by the morning, so I think us going to sleep now is perfectly fine. We'll have something to drink though. Just take a sip from there. We're going to be going to bed very hungry, which I'm never really happy about, but what can you do? We'll be able to deal with it in the morning at the very least with some nice old soup. Uh, okay, there we go. I was like, uh, no, sleepless night, but we got, we got there in the end, which is good. Okay, we wake up and we wake up actually before the sun, which is kind of not what we were wanting uh, because we need light. Um, we see 88 two by fours. We just need one to start, to, you know, to actually get a fire going. So let's go and grab just the one for now. Drop you over here. Uh, two by four, activate lighter on that square. There we go. We did it without burning the place down. Always a good sign. Okay, I was gonna have something to drink, but if we're making soup, we don't need to worry about doing that. So let's just go meat, meat soup, bam. Get it done, pour that into a sealed stomach. Great. Let's go and grab that sealed stomach. Excellent. We've still got some broth there as well, but we're just gonna go and have some of this to drink if we can. Just start to deal with both our thirst and our hunger. There we go, fantastic. So we had to have a bit of it there, but that's dealt with that for now at the very least. How is the charcoal? It's done, fantastic, okay. Good news. So let's go ahead and take off the swag bag. Uh, right, we're full. What are we full of? A lot of things, it would seem. A lot of things. So we're going to go and drop all this crap off. Um, essentially, all of that can go up there. The canola seeds we'll hold on to for the time being. Lump of steel. And the rest. Okay. All right. Ignore that. Ignore the noise in the background. Windows is trying its best to annoy me. Um, okay. All right. I think we're okay. I think we're, I think we're good. That should be everything. So we're going to go grab some charcoal and get this thing on the go. Seven. I don't know if I want to put all of it in there, but I don't see us using it for anything else right now. We're going to do another batch of charcoal as well. So at least for now, that will help us move on. We need to try and see if we can make ourselves a hammer, and we can. It's going to take two hours for us to be able to do it. We need to use a 2 by 4 We've got one nearby. And we have everything else that we're going to need. We're going to use a lump of steel. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. I thought we actually took our 2 by 4 from the door. That that would have sucked. Okay, we failed. Uh, that sucks. That sucks a big... That sucks a lot, but... Um, because that's using a lot of charcoal each time we fail at that. It's not impossible for us to do, but there is a chance that we could fail this again. Um, Alright, so let's... Let's have something to, to drink. I just want us to be feeling pretty good while we're doing this. Or at least, you know, a, a little bit better. Cross our fingers and hope that we can make this thing. Come on. Damn it! We've got to be getting better, though, at the very least. So if we have a look over here, that's going to be our fabrication skill. We're on 57 at the moment. We're using more and more. Well, we, we, we're using up more and more of our resources each time we do this. Uh, eventually, we're not going to be able to do it. Um, how many more times can we do this? We can essentially do it two more times before we are out of um, charges, which sucks. So come on, Leif. you got it. This is going to be the time. Let's cross our fingers together. It's hammer time. Okay, we didn't waste any materials, that's okay. We're at 68, so we're getting better. Let's have some more meat soup, and let's have some water. <sighs> okay, all right. Attempting again. Come on. There we go, we got ourselves a bloody hammer. We got it in the end, and that would have helped us out a lot. Yeah, we're on 80% for fabrication. That's gonna get us up to six, which is awesome. That's good. <sighs> that's good that's something at the very least we've got ourselves a proper hammer now so with that hammer we're now going to be able to make ourselves a chisel yes chisel yes we can okay and this one is actually easier for us to make we can make this without too much trouble uh we are going to start running out of charges again though so 
let's get to work while we can and we have ourselves a metal working chisel so i think we have a lot of things that we need to actually start making uh metallic things um I'm, I'm trying to think of something that we could attempt to build so that we know exactly everything that we're going to need. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's like a swage and die set is something else that we're going to need, but whether or not we can actually make that. Swage and die. Okay. That is something that we're going to need. Um, it's a loop and metal blocks. I have no idea what it is. Um, I just know that we need it. Uh, so for us to be able to do that, we are going to need more charges. And that's, that's the kind of problem that we find ourselves in at the moment. So we are going to have to take more of our wood supply from in here. And I, and I think that's okay. We've got it here for a reason. Um, are we going to take all 80? I think maybe. Because we've got logs there. We can always chop them up if we should need to. So we're going to go ahead and just start transferring all of these 2x4s across here. Uh, let's move them from down here up to there. Okay, and we're going to move them from here down to the charcoal kill. Just those, not the birch bark. It can only hold 83. Wouldn't you know? Wow, okay, we're, we're actually just one over. So that's a full kill now. We're gonna go ahead and fire that. It's gonna take 361 minutes to finish building, or rather finish burning, but I'm, I'm happy with that. We managed to get a fair amount done in today's episode. We managed to kill ourselves another wasp. We survived that fight. We managed to make ourselves an anvil and many of the tools necessary to, to actually start doing more metalworking. So we, we definitely have advanced into the Iron Age, the semi-Iron Steel Age at the moment. We kind of skipped the other ages. But um, I, I, Leif is definitely coming along and he's bounced back from where we were at before. The fire was definitely a setback, but it wasn't a nail in our coffin. We managed to survive it, which is the main thing. We're still alive. We're still well-ish. No, we're doing okay as far as I'm concerned. We are almost going to be in summer. And when summer hits, we're going to be able to see our plants growing a lot more. We're going to be able to harvest more things from around us. It's going to be a pretty, pretty plentiful time. But we need to make sure that we are prepared when winter does roll around. So we're going to do as much work as we can in those 30 days before autumn starts to come in. But guys and gals, that's going to wrap us up for this week. For Leif, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I feel like we managed to get a decent amount done. If you have any recommendations or where you would like to see Leif progress to next, please let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to include those suggestions in the next one. Thank you all for joining me. I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned. Thank you.